Welcome. Today I'm going to share with you a fall capsule style wardrobe that I have put together for this season with items I have recently thrifted, rummaged, or found from Thread Up. So I am one who I typically had a lot of clothes because I'm a thrifter. So I loved having a large variety of clothing and I have been um, not working out of the home now for a year and a half. I used to be a teacher, a music teacher, and so I just had a lot of variety and I've really been working on paring down my wardrobe because our tendency is to gravitate towards those things that we feel comfortable in, that we enjoy wearing, and so I thought, let's get rid of a few things, let's just add um, 10 or so more pieces to my wardrobe to um, spice up my fall attire. So the first items that I purchased were three dresses, two were from Thread Up, and one was from a thrift store. So this first dress is a burnt orange color with a zip down halfway and a tie at the waist, and it is kind of a polyester feel, but I am not one who typically wears this color, but I'm really liking it for the fall season. It's knee length. Um, it would look nice with a pair of tights if need be, a sweater over it, but I am a nursing mom as well, so I want something that is easy to be able to nurse, um, zip down, and use easily. So all my dresses are nursing friendly dresses. So I'm really liking this dress right now for this up and coming fall season. The second dress I found, you probably saw me wear it in my latest homemaking video, is this long sleeve black and white checkered dress and it's a little bit short so I would prefer to wear some leggings under it but it is just like kind of like a cinched waist and it is the brand no boundaries so I don't know I think that's just Walmart but I got it at a garage sale or rummage store and I'm adding this piece for the fall as well and the other dress the burnt orange one is um, Hanai I want to say H-A-A-N-I not sure I've ever heard of that brand but that will be, um, those two dresses will be added into my fall wardrobe. And the final dress that I'm really liking and loving the feel of it, and these are ones I could wear to church as well, on dates, just around the house. And that is the goal with my wardrobe, is to make it versatile wherever I am, whether I'm just staying home, whether I'm running errands, whether I'm going to church on a date. So this last dress is black with kind of like a light orange pink color and it is a v-neck so again conducive for nursing and it is the banana republic brand so a nicer quality dress and the feel of it it's more of a polyester again I would prefer some more cotton style dresses but these will work really well for the season and I didn't spend more than like eight dollars per dress so if I retire them after this fall season I will not feel guilty so another piece that I need to have in my wardrobe, um, actually two more, are two pairs of jeans. And I've been looking for some high-waisted jeans. I had one uh, that I wore pre-pregnancy and I found these two on ThreadUp. They're both American Eagle, they're stretch style. And I love that because they are flexible for a mama's tummy that's still got a little bit of a baby pooch to it. And they are just so comfortable. They're easy to squat down and play with your children. Unlike the lower waisted jeans, you just feel like you have to wear a belt all the time or your shirts have to be extremely long. So I am really liking these jeans. The light wash pair here have a few more holes in it than I expected, but they're just so comfortable. I thought I'm not gonna return them. I'm just gonna wear them for this season if need be and they'll work really well into uh, probably a couple more years down the road. And to be honest, the ripped jean is super in, um, especially all the way down the legs, which I'm not a fan of. But um, a few tears on the knees is not out of line for me. I added two shirts to my wardrobe for the fall season. This mustard colored one, which is a crew neck, and then this uh, navy blue that is a Marona brand v-neck. Now, I think a t-shirt can be very versatile as well. It can be 
dressed up real well with a nice piece of jewelry. It can be worn with a scarf, with a sweater, just casually with jeans, with a skirt. So there's lots of ways to pair these style of t-shirts. And so that is why I like having these in my wardrobe and the jewel tones right now I think are pretty in so I'm really liking having this uh, navy blue and my t-shirts that I've had that are this style previously I've had for years and years they just they honestly don't smell great they're pilling so it was time to get a few new of these type of shirts um, I do have a couple sweaters that I I should say cardigans that I added two gray ones both were extremely cheap they're like a dollar at a thrift store and um i think they will go nicely with some of my dresses some of my t-shirts that i have and so the first one is a little bit large but oversized i think is in honestly again i like the buttons on it it's got the two pockets and so that will go well with whatever I have just I want again versatile something you can grab a pair of jeans a shirt and a cardigan or a dress and a cardigan so that is what I added there and then the other gray sweater I'm still on the fence about is an Eddie Bauer brand it's got some like little pleats in it it's got some texture to it um, I'm just not sure if it would go as well with everything because it's got such a different um, style to it but I did pick that up and so I do have those two gray sweaters then of course I had that long black one and I love wearing sweaters in the fall winter months um, because they're just nice and cozy one more piece for the the shirt type that's a little more dressy is a black and white knit sweater it is the philosophy brand I've never heard of that one either but this is again very versatile with jeans or a skirt tucked in uh, I'm wearing loose and I love having these sweaters you can just throw on on a cool morning I could honestly throw it over one of my t-shirts that I have and just wear that around the house and then I guess one other long sleeve is this one that I'm currently wearing it's a very relaxed chill just sweatshirt style it is a time and true brand just from Walmart um, but I did get it thrifted and I really am liking this color it's kind of a a green mint color and so that's kind of something I've never had in my wardrobe so very casual but yet again I'm really liking adding that to my wardrobe now a couple other staples are leggings I have a workout pair of leggings and a just black pair of leggings that you see here with my skirt and a skirt is a staple for me I have a couple skirts that I have this is a Tommy Hilfiger thrifted skirt I've had for several years it um, is one I'm always left on the fence about about getting rid of because pre-pregnancy it was really loose and if I wear it in the summer it's loose but if I wear it here in the fall and tuck a sweater in it fits just fine so it's one I'm gonna keep for this season because it goes well like I said with the sweater with the leggings so I'm gonna keep it in my wardrobe and see how I feel about it and then again if I need to get rid of it in the next season I don't feel bad because it's been thrifted. Um, I have two pairs of shoes I want to share with you. This loafer pair I found uh, for $4.25 at Goodwill and they're just so adorable. They're pretty comfy. I wore them on the date that I had the other evening with my husband. I think they're called Annie Day um, brand. I think that's what they are. And so they're, they're just kind of a cute little flat. I don't like to wear a lot of heels anymore. And so they'll just be very versatile with my skirts, with my dresses, with jeans. And then another staple are my little booties. And both these are kind of the suede texture. I've had these booties for two years now. Um, and so they're not ones I just wear, like if I wanna go for a walk, of course, I'll have a pair of tennis shoes or something like that. But these little booties, again, are so versatile. They work well to go with any of the um, dresses, jeans, skirts that I have mentioned already. And then one scarf I will probably keep and wear. It's really versatile with the brown, the black, and the gray hint to it. So you can change it up, wear it with a sweater, with your shirts, your cardigans, and it's just nice to add in the cooler fall season. 
So those are all the added items I have for my fall capsule wardrobe. Never done a capsule wardrobe before, so I'm excited, excited to see how it works for me. Of course, I still have some other items that I will be keeping, um, like a pair of work jeans, a pair of black skinny jeans, just some things that I'm not showing you, but that I do have. And I'm not a like 10 item or 30 item capsule wardrobe person. I don't think I could handle having that few of items in my closet. So these are just some additions I thought I would share with you and maybe give you some shopping inspiration when you aren't looking for things for your wardrobe. So hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm going to be wearing this fall season and hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.